Hey guys, I'm in the city of Polonarua in Sri Lanka, and this place is full of ancient Buddhist ruins. Among these amazing Buddhist structures, we also have some Hindu temples. Here, in this isolated area, we have a very ancient Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. It was built around 993 AD, which is about 8,000 years ago. Who built this temple? We are lucky because we have inscriptions on the temple walls in ancient Tamil language, naming it as Vanavan Madhavi Ishwaram. Vanavan Madhavi was the mother of the great king Raja Raja Chola, so it was most probably built by him. As you can see, this is not a large temple. This is actually a very small temple. These arches originally contained idols of gods, and they've been stolen or destroyed. The temple has been constructed by placing one granite block on top of another. And at a distance, we can see the book, the Mount of Lord Shiva. Let's go inside the temple and see what's in the main chamber. It has been locked, but if we peep through this hole, we can see the long cylindrical lingam on a flat grooved base. This is typically what you will find in all Chola temples. So why did Raja Raja, a Tamil king who was living in South India, cross the ocean, come deep into Sri Lanka, and install this Hindu temple. Raja Raja invaded Sri Lanka in 993 AD, captured half of Sri Lanka, and made this city his capital in Sri Lanka. This city, known as Polonarua, was renamed as Jananada Mangalam. He was a very tolerant king. You can see that he did not destroy these Buddhist structures. He did not even build Hindu temples among the Buddhist shrines. He built them far away from Buddhist monuments. Yes, I said temples because the Chola kings built several Hindu temples in this area. Now, let us take a look at another Shiva temple nearby. It is completely in ruins. It is also said to be built by King Rajaraja in remembrance of his father. Almost a similar looking temple, but is bigger than the other one. Inside the main chamber, there is a lingam, which has been completely destroyed. Some locals believe that this temple was destroyed by Buddhists in 13th century, but Buddhism is generally a peaceful religion and there is no actual evidence to show it was destroyed by Buddhists. So you can see how Hindu temples were built outside India at least a thousand years ago. The entire Southeast Asian countries are full of ancient Hindu temples, all built by the great Chola kings. I hope you like this video. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. I will talk to you soon. Bye.